Hello everybody, welcome to UncorkedDeals.com. I'm Brian Friedman, wine specialist for WineChateau.com. And today we're featuring one of my all-time favorite wines from Italy, Amarone. Now look, with so many of these Italian wines, pronunciation becomes an issue. You're going to hear Amarone, you're going to hear Amarone. Bottom line, it's delicious stuff. Call it whatever you like. Don't worry about that stuff. People get way too bent out of shape about that. The wine we're featuring today is the Tenazzi 2006 Amarone della Valpolicella. Now, let's uh, see what this wine is showing us today. By the way, it's not made out of Amarone grapes. That's actually not the names of the grapes. Uh, the major grapes in these wines are, are, are grapes that most people have never heard of before. World famous grapes like Corvina and Molinara and Rondinella. Again, just like the pronunciation of Amarone or Amarone, don't worry about it. It's just great stuff. So, let's give this a swirl and a smell. It's chocolatey. It, it, like nothing else, it reminds me of going to a restaurant and you get like, remember that chocolate pudding as a kid? But this is a little more concentrated, a little richer. Um, the fruit is much riper, um, almost denser. I love the smell of great Amarone like this. What they do with Amarone that sets it apart is after they pick the grapes, they dry them, typically on mats. And uh, what that does is it concentrates the sugar. So when they go to then ferment the wine, you have a lot more power, a lot more muscle in this wonderful chocolatey coffee, uh, big, bold wine. Um, see what the Tanazi is showing today. I think we can stop rolling the video now because I just want to drink this bottle. Um, there's wonderful acidity and when we talk about that, it's like it gets your mouth watering and at the same time there's a meatiness to it. Um, again, that chocolate comes back but it's more like a dark chocolate as opposed to the, uh, like the pudding chocolate. Um, lots of blackberries again. It's an incredibly, incredibly giving wine, right? Meaning you can think about it, you can be uh, sort of like a wine geek and try to analyze the wine, but at the same time, you can just drink this stuff and be very, very happy with it. Going to go with a huge range of foods. Uh, quite frankly, uh, spare ribs, I think, would be spectacular with this. Um, don't just assume that great wine needs so-called fancy foods. Some of the best food and wine combinations in the world are the ones you'd least expect. Absolutely spectacular wine. Free shipping on six bottles or more. And uh, we're very confident in saying that once you receive this, you'll enjoy your wine.